Hey, Pelicans, welcome back to Pelican Podcast. I'm Mrs. Haynes, your principal here to talk to you today about a super holiday that happens today. Today is September 17, 2020, but back in 1787, way back, over 200 years ago, that's even older than your mom or your dad or me. I know, super old, right? Back then, a whole bunch of folks got together in this building right here, Independence Hall. That's why I flew all the way out here last night. I had to be here for this day. It's just so awesome. They got together in this room and they shut the doors and windows and it was summer. I mean, you see how beautiful it is right now, right? But it's a little hot. So they were in there and it got really steamy in there. It was hot. It was sweaty. They were probably stinky, but they stayed with it. They wrote down what our government should look like. They decided among themselves what our rights should be. And they decided how to put it all together to make it work as our democracy. And we've had it for over 200 years. That's amazing. That's incredible. How cool is that? I love it. So anyway, I wanted to be here for that day. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my favorite line in the Constitution. In order to form a more perfect union, is the quote. And it's in the preamble, fourth, fourth fifth, and sixth graders. I'm sure you know what that is. The cool thing about it is, these guys sitting back here in their powdered wigs and sweating and writing and debating back and forth, they knew that they wanted this to last a long time, right? So what they did is they included ways to change the Constitution as it grew and as we grew as a nation. And we still make changes to it today. A more perfect union. They knew that we needed to try to make sure that we could make our democracy grow. And that each of us had as a citizen an obligation to make sure we could make it the best place we ever could imagine living. So that's pretty cool. Not everybody has that in this world. So changes happen. They set up a way to do it. And now it's up to us. It's up to us as citizens to make our country a more perfect union every single day. And there's big ways to do it, like voting, Ooh, remind me to tell you about the mock election. It's going to be awesome. Or small ways, like making sure that the balloons we put up for orientation get taken down and they don't go blowing over to the beach or to the harbor and hurt sea life. It's doing a beach cleanup when you're at the beach sometime, picking up a few extra pieces of trash. It's maybe saying hi to the neighbor, maybe leaving some, some uh, flowers on their porch. And if you know they don't get a lot of visitors. Or maybe sending a postcard to someone who really would help, it would help with their spirits. Maybe it's just helping out somebody in your family who's having a hard time. Maybe you have a little brother or sister who's really having a hard time with the math. Or maybe you can help mom pick up around the house. Because you know what? It's a hard time for families right now. We know it is. We all have families too, and we're going through the same stuff. And it's challenging right now. So all these little things you do, they're not just little things. They help to make it a more perfect union, whether that's in your house, whether that's in your classroom community, whether it's in the world at large, we can make it a more perfect union every single day. And that constitution is still there. And we still base our government on it, even after over 200 years. That's why this is such a cool day. And why I had to come here to Independence Hall in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, for us to celebrate it together. So let's talk elections. The adults who are over 18 can vote in November for the President of the United States. Guess what? Fourth, fifth, and sixth graders can vote too. Mm-hmm. I know. How cool is that? So you'll be able to vote digitally. We're part of a huge effort throughout California called the California State Mock Election. And they've been doing this for, I think, 20 years now, something like that. This year, it's going to be done digitally because we want to make sure we keep everybody safe, right? And fourth, fifth, and sixth graders will be able to vote, and we will send that link out to you. You'll be able to vote for president. And the cool part about this is, you know, people say kids don't know a lot. I think they're really wrong on that. I think kids know way more than people give them credit. You guys are smart. And here's the thing. Every time they do this mock election, it's right on. You guys usually pick the person that's going to win. When you look at those state when you look at the state election results from all the different schools in California, I think it's something like 89 or 90% of the time, 
kids knew who was going to win. So that's pretty cool. And I'm really excited that we get to be a part of it. Before I go, though, remember, this Friday, Superhero Day, be there or be square. You can dress up as any superhero you want, whether it's Captain America or Captain Marvel or Spider-Man, whether it is a different kind of hero like we have now, like, a, like nurses and doctors and, and first responders and grocery store clerks who are out there going to work every day so that we can do what we need to do and survive, right? My personal heroes, my teachers, they're amazing. What they do every day and how much work they put in and how much they put into what they do to teach you, they are exhausted by the end of the day. They're amazing. And they're my personal heroes. So that's who I'm going to thank on Friday on Superhero Day. So when you dress up, and you can dress up as your, as your favorite superhero, or you can dress up as the person who's your personal hero, either way, make a sign. Just take a piece of paper and write down my hero is and who the person is because and tell why. And how about a big thank you at the end? Let's let them know how much we appreciate them. Right? Yeah, it's going to be great. Once you have your sign and you're in your costume, take a picture on your iPad or your Chromebook, send it to Ms. Hickson, who's our counselor. You can find her um, email address on our website. Um, you can also find all the information on this in the news section on our website or in the events section. Just click on that date and it'll give you all the stuff I'm telling you about right there. And we will put all those pictures we get together in a slideshow and we'll get it back out to our community. So that's going to be awesome on Friday. We have more info on the, the uh, mock election coming up next week on the podcast. We have more Friday fun days coming all year long. We're going to keep them coming at you. It's going to be great. Send us your ideas, too. Be sure you let Miss Hickson know if you have any cool ideas. I've already gotten a whole bunch of great ideas. Um, I think it was, was it Ella or Ella sent me a list? Hey, awesome list, by the way. We are going to keep collecting your ideas, and we're going to have stuff happening every Friday for the rest of the year. So pelicans, remember, cover your face and leave some space. Be safe. Be kind. Make it a more perfect union. Take care until I see you next time.